The roller holder sits on top of the light processing unit housing inside the Form 3. It houses two sets of rollers that tension the film in the bottom of the resin tank, as well as the window that the laser shines through to cure each layer in a print. A dirty or damaged roller holder can impact print quality or lead to damage to the LPU itself. Use this guide to clean the Form 3 roller holder. If this video helps you solve your printer's issue, please like the video and thanks for watching. Remove the build platform first to avoid dripping resin into the printer cavity. Remove the resin cartridge and close the vent cap to prevent resin from dripping off the bite valve and into the printer. Remove the resin tank, place it in its case, cover it, and set it to the side. Clear a workspace around your printer. Ensure that the workspace is well ventilated and free of dust. With the printer plugged in and powered on, tap the wrench icon to access the settings screen, then tap maintenance, motor moves. The motor moves screen appears. Tap and hold left to move the LPU housing to the middle of the printer cavity. Disconnect the power cable before continuing with maintenance. Do not perform maintenance on the printer while it is connected to power. Open the printer cover. Clean any resin pooled on top of the roller holder and adjacent surfaces with paper towels. Dampen the paper towels with isopropyl alcohol if necessary to remove the resin. Fully loosen the 16 screws on the top of the roller holder with a 1.5 mm hex driver. Avoid dropping the screws into the printer cavity. Layer several clean paper towels to the side of your work area. Carefully lift each edge of the roller holder to separate it from the LPU housing. Once the roller holder is free, lift the roller holder vertically away from the LPU housing. Quickly place the roller holder onto the paper towels to prevent any remaining resin from dripping into the printer. Clean any pooled resin that remains on the roller holder mounting surface with paper towels dampened with IPA. Take care not to damage the gasket surrounding the laser opening, the printed circuit board, or any flexible shims on the mounting surface. Using a cell phone light, flashlight, or other small light source, shine light into the LPU through the opening that had previously been covered by the roller holder. If you can see resin inside the LPU, the LPU will need to be replaced. Check out our resources for replacing the Form 3 light processing unit and purchase a replacement kit off of our web store. Remove the screws from the roller holder and place the roller holder face down on a clean paper towel. Pull the thin plastic cover off of the bottom of the roller holder. The cover should come free without significant force. Clean any resin on the cover with paper towels dampened with IPA. Remove each roller from the roller holder and wipe off any resin with paper towels dampened with IPA. Fully inspect the roller holder body for any remaining resin, including internal surfaces such as screw holes. Clean as needed with paper towels dampened with IPA. Inspect the glass optical window in the roller holder. If resin has dripped onto the window, use a small amount of IPA with a clean microfiber cloth first. Move the cloth slowly to allow the IPA to dissolve the resin. Allow the surface to dry before using additional non-abrasive wipes with IPA to wipe down both sides of the glass surface. For additional information, check out our video for cleaning the Form 3 optical window. Reseat the individual rollers into the roller holder. Align the plastic cover with the bottom of the roller holder body and press it into position. The cover should snap into place without significant force. Hold the roller holder above the LPU housing. Align the laser window in the roller holder with the rectangular laser opening in the LPU housing. Align the six posts on the bottom of the roller holder with the corresponding slots in the mounting surface. Place the roller holder onto the mounting surface. Place one screw into each of the 16 mounting holes on the roller holder. Using a 1.5 mm hex driver, tighten the screws over the course of two passes, as shown here. Tighten all of the screws in each numbered region before moving on to the next. On the first pass, fully thread the screws. 
On the second, tighten until each screw is finger tight. Use the long end of the hex driver, pressing in on the short end, to avoid over tightening the screws. To ensure no accidental contamination occurred during the reinstallation process, apply a small amount of IPA to a new non-abrasive wipe and use it to wipe the optical window slowly. Repeat this step until the entire glass surface is clean. Allow the optical window to dry before finalizing the repair. Close the printer cover and connect the power cable to the printer and the power supply. The printer will initialize and the LPU will move back to its home position to perform a calibration. Insert any missing consumables and upload and start a print. Check that the print starts normally and that the parts print successfully. Contact Formlab support or your authorized reseller to share the results of the procedure. Did this video help you get printing again? If so, please leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Also leave a comment telling us what videos you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching.